Hello everybody. I'm making this video this evening. You know, I really didn't want to make this video. But I did want to make it. It's funny, I've had a lot of ambivalence about talking about this topic. And that is the rapture. But, oh my God, the Holy Spirit is just speaking to me really strongly. And I've got to make this video. You know, I have just been so reluctant to talk about the rapture. Because there's so, <laughs> there has been so much um, that has been said about it over the years. I've been following this topic for about 20 years. And, um, you know, I've been, I was, you know, I've been through the Howard Lindsay, late great planet Earth and all of that. And um, I've been really, really wary of picking rapture dates. Um, we're cautioned against picking rapture dates in the Bible. Here's my good old Bible here. It's a, not a very common Bible. It's, a, it's called the Moffat Translation. Okay. And um, so I wish I had a King James Version Bible, but King James Bibles are becoming rather hard to get a hold of. And I found this one in a second-hand bookshop, and it passed the Bible test, so it stays. But you can see it's, you know, pretty old, but I love my Bible. I've got a number of Bibles, actually. Anyway, I'm off topic. I'll get back on topic, okay, Holy Spirit. I've got a word from the Holy Spirit this evening. Now... God has made me to be a prophetess. He called me to be a prophetess a long, long time ago. Okay? That's just the job he's given me to do. And, you know, prophesied for a while in churches. These days I work as a professional psychic, which is another version of being a prophet, a prophetess. So I've got to speak this word. The rapture is coming and it's coming really, really quickly. I um I was logged in tonight and I fell asleep. Um on the phone, you know, when I was well not exactly on the phone, I um <sighs> The phone rang, and it was a client, and um, I had to do a reading for this client, and the reading that came up um, was basically an army getting prepared, which had, I mean, this client was asking about you know, what should this client do and how should uh, this client prepare and um, and also about love life and all the rest of it. And I was waking up and um, I believe I haven't breached any sort of confidentiality here because I haven't really said much at all. And this client will know who this client is. Um, and I was pretty groggy. I'd just woken up. The phone had woken me up. And normally I'd do my card readings. Card readings is really what I'm the best at. But anyway, I, I did the I Ching. I'm only just learning the I Ching. I did an I Ching reading, and the reading came up that there was an army gathering. And, um... This army is the saints of God in heaven, okay? But they are gathering. And do you know something? The rapture is coming. It is 
so close. It is a breath away. It is out the door. All right? The Holy Spirit was convicting me that I had to make this video and I had to tell all you people that the rapture is at the door. All right? The bridegroom is coming and the word is going out. Wake up, you bridesmaids. Wake up, you bride. You know? The bridegroom is coming. Wake up and fill up your lamps with oil. The oil that you have stored all of these years. This is the word of the Lord. Sorry about that. My phone was almost out of charge. And uh, the record went on to pause because my phone was almost out of charge. But I'm back now. I'm just going to repeat what I got in the last couple of minutes. The kingdom of God is at hand. The bride is coming with her king. Jesus is coming back. The word has gone out to wake up the bride because she's sleeping. The bridegroom is coming. Okay? That was the picture that I got tonight. And I have to say today to the bridesmaids, that is to the bride, wake up because your husband is here. Your bridegroom is here. That's the message that I have tonight. The man was wanting to know Sorry, I haven't given away his name. But this is a picture that I got. The bride and the bridegroom have to pull in the same direction together. They have to be pulling for heaven. Alright? I pray that I might be counted worthy. And the Holy Spirit said to me, You will not be counted worthy unless you make this video, unless you tell people, wake up, the bridegroom is here, he's coming, he's even at the door. And that scared me, because I really, I pray that I might be counted worthy to escape the wrath that's coming on the earth. And the Holy Spirit told me, you will not be counted worthy unless you get the word out there that I am coming. And I love God, but I fear God as well. I don't fear him because he's abusive, far from it. But I'll tell you something. I'm a widow. When I was on this earth, with my husband before my husband died he was a powerful man he was an akiroka alright he was a high ranking akiroka and in akiro that's a powerful martial art you know he could break a man's arm with a twist he could break his, a man's neck with his bare hands. That's what, in high level Akiroka, that is what they teach. But I'll tell you what, he didn't boast about it. And I love my husband. I still love him. I love him to tears. But he was a fearful man. You know, he had so much power. He wasn't abusive. He was never abusive. But I feared him for the power that he had. You know, but he had the wisdom to use the power that he had in a good way. 
but I never would have wanted to be on his bad side. I never would have wanted to cross my husband. And that is exactly how I feel about Christ. He is a good husband. He is not abusive. But he holds a lot of power. And he is awesome. He is worthy of fear. Okay? The bridegroom is coming and he's beautiful. And... I'm very much looking forward to seeing him. I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing him. But the rapture is coming, and it's coming quickly. You all better wake up. You all better get ready, because the bridegroom is at the door. Lord God, is there anything else I have to say? I pray if there is, that you help me. That you help me to say it, my Lord. I'm just going to open the Bible here to a random page and see what it says. Okay? I have opened to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. I'm just going to see if I can zoom in a bit. Okay. Just going to see if I can zoom in a bit. Just so I can record these words. Otherwise, I'll just have to read, won't I? Alright. No, I'm not going to be able to. I'll just have to read it. Happy is the man who gathers wisdom, the man who gains knowledge. Her profits are richer than silver. She brings in more than gold. She is more precious than rubies. No treasure can compare with her. Long days lie in her right hand, wealth and honour in her left. Her ways, are of tra her ways are ways of tranquil ease, and all her paths are bliss. To those who grasp her, she is vital strength. Happy are all who hold her fast. With wisdom did the Eternal found the earth. With knowledge did he raise the heavens. Twas with intelligence he broke up the abyss and made the clouds drop dew. My son, hold to sagacity. That means wisdom and sense. Never lose sight of them. They will make your life long and add charm to it. Then you can safely go your way with never a slip. You can rest unafraid. You can lie down to a sweet sleep. Never need your fe you fear sudden blows or the storm that strikes the wicked. For the eternal will be your protection and preserve you from all danger. Never refuse help to your neighbour when I can when you can render it. Never say to him, Go and come again, I will have it tomorrow for you. When you have it beside you, never plot mischief against your neighbour, as he lives near you unsuspecting. Never quarrel with a man for no reason, when he has done never done you any harm. Never envy a high handed man or choose his methods. For the eternal loathes an evil man. The honest are the eternal's friends. The eternal's curse lies on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the good man's dwelling. Scoffers he scoffs at, but he favours the devout. Wise men come to honour, but shame is all the foolish gain. I'm going to go now. Okay? I believe that says it all. And I'm almost at my time limit. Now, you all, wake up. 
Get ready. The bridegroom is at the door. See you later.